God. I did not see that coming, just... Oh, man. <sighs> Having four Cylon models literally sitting right there underneath every person in the fleet's nose and every single one of the seven other models that we already know and nobody even figured it out until finally something just flipped in their brain and then they show up for the same reason and just... Oh man, let me tell you, this reveal at the end pretty much almost redeemed the season right here because out of the three seasons, it honestly was the weakest if you ask me. No, 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 no. That's not to say that there's good episodes dealing with the Cylons and dealing with personal conflicts because the episode involving the, the Chief and Cowley, I really like that episode. Everything involving them getting enough new Caprica, pretty awesome. All the temple stuff, that's nice. Um, that boxing episode, I enjoyed that episode. It was kind of unnecessary in a couple of areas, but it was a good episode. But there were other episodes I just didn't enjoy as much, like that mining episode. I'm really not a big fan of that, and... There's a couple of them that just don't completely feel right, and... When we first started seeing a few episodes from the Cylon's perspective, it did sort of feel different. But in a way, I should thank this season, because had I not viewed this one, I would have a lower opinion of 2, because I felt 2 was pretty different from season 1, which is basically all about the Cylons, compared to this season. That season looks like it's all about the Cylons also, even though... There's a couple of good episodes with the Cylons or lower priority. But I digress. So, wow. That was just flippin' awesome. So, how do I feel about each of these people being a Cylon? Well, um, Ty, in a way, I kind of expected it. I think I was spoiled somewhat because I, um, had the uh, plan, and then I saw him on the cover there, so... I kind of guessed that it might be possible that he's a Cylon, but I was just as shocked to learn that he actually was. But, you know, he always acted like he had a couple of personal demons, even though a few of them were revealed to us. This adds one more to his personality, so it fits. That's a good revelation. Um, uh, what's her face? Tori, the advisor to the president. It feels kind of random, but in a way it fits, because not every Cylon model has to be, uh, hugely prominent once they up the number from four different models all the way to seven, like they did in the middle of seasons two and three and all that. The, uh tourist guide at the very beginning of the miniseries, he kind of drops down a few pegs, and then there's tons of times where number sixes and Sharon and Diana's aren't really discussed that much. So, it's not that big of a deal. And if anything, it helps make the character be of more use. And the way that they were setting the character up in the past couple of episodes, getting her more noticeable, no problem. Uh, Anders being the Cylon. Uh, mainly I feel sorry for the character because, you know, he's been leading tons of human people up against the Cylons for the longest time, going against skin jobs and all that, and then he finds out that he's a Cylon, so he, in a way, has been literally killing his own kind and then sending people he fought with his friends to die when really if they're looking for the enemy it's him that's my main reaction right there i feel sorry for him so when starbuck finds out a lot of apollo oh god <laughs> oh yeah when they find out about a tie oh god that's gonna be spooky oh man That's really the only other comment I can make. They could have made him human or Cylon and still make the character work. It just adds another dimension to him and helps make him move away from just the love triangle because I'm not a big fan of love triangles. I hate them. 
There are times where I, I'm okay with it, but almost always I'm not. As for the chief being a Cylon, well, it kind of makes sense in the way that that's how he's able to interact with so many of the different models, because he goes to the priest, uh, he interacted with Dia Diana, I can't pronounce her name, I'm sorry, before they found out that she was a Cylon. He's attracted to uh, Shannon, or sorry, Boomer, I gotta remember, it's Boomer or Athena, you can't say Sharon or number 8 unless it's a different one other than those two, so... Attracted to Boober, so he's under Ty, though he didn't know he's a Cylon, so kind of makes sense how he's. Oh, yeah, and then knowing of the prophecies, but at the same time, I feel like it doesn't work because, like, um, you remember how when Athena recognized Boomer, she's able to tell based on the fact that they're both Cylons, which number eight they are and all of that so don't you think that somebody should have known that chief was a cylon also now i know i know that they're called the lost five but i feel like somehow they should have known and how he has all of these memories of his parents you know raising him up and all that learning the prophecies and all of that just I don't know, something feels a little bit up. Now, now it could be that they actually had one of the Cylon models sort of be like a hybrid, but then what's the point of calling them a model and just... I don't know, just something feels a little bit fishy about the Chief. It could be that I'm just not willing to let the character go because I really like Chief and all of that. Sorry that I keep calling him Chief. I'm just not comfortable calling him Tyrol. Tyro. You can probably see why. But just something feels off. And then when Kelly finds out, just, man. That's gonna stink. But let me tell you, that twist, that was hella awesome. And one last comment, um, don't you think it's strange that even though there's 12 Cylon models, they have an uneven female and male? Because let's look at the males. We have the tour guide at the beginning of the miniseries. We have, uh, what's his face, Leoben, the one who's always talking to Starbuck. Simon, who's the black guy, the priest. Anders, chief. Ty, that's seven men, and then there's the four females, T Troy, or Troy, I've forgotten already, Shannon, and uh, Deanna, number six, so at most it could be five to seven, what's up with that? So, two big mysteries remain, what is the last... Cylon, and what is everyone going to find out once they realize they have four models literally sitting underneath their nose? Because for right now, everyone's just saying, I know I'm a Cylon, but that doesn't change I'm a part of this fleet. Interesting, huh?